Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead for the collective Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. So first thing we have here is let go. And then we have in the near future and you're ready. So whatever's going on here, you might not feel like you're prepared for it, but you are. Maybe that's your person. We'll see. What is this in regards to for the collective, please? What is going on for the love lives of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is going on here for the collective? Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Okay. Almost. Let's see. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Now, when we talk about third parties, we're not always talking about romantic interests. For some of you, that could be relevant here. But an external party can really be anything or anyone that someone allows to come between the two of you. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. You know, it's really interesting here. Okay. Under the deck, it does say friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Honestly, I feel like there's a very specific situation happening here. So again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I feel like this is a situation where you've fallen in love with your friend or someone very close to you. They may already be involved with another person. And you've been like trying so much to like, suppress your feelings or hold back because you're afraid of opening up to this person and being rejected because they may already be with someone or you may feel like they're going to choose to pursue another person or another option or path. Um, they're saying to let go. Now, again, this can kind of go a couple different ways. For some of you, if you know that they're married in a long-term connection, it could be that letting go is actually paving the way for something better to come towards you. Kind of getting your feelings out there, being vulnerable with this person so that way you're not always wondering what could have been, should have went, uh, been. Uh, for others of you, it can be, you know, if they are dating someone or interested in someone and you've been friends a long time, they have the same feelings that you have. However, they don't know that. Um, let's, let's obviously get more. This is, this is one of those, we definitely need more information. This is, um, um, this is kind of juicy. I want to see what's going on with this. What's the T? So what's going on? What's going on in this connection? What's the overall energy? What's happening between you and this person? What's going on between you and this person, please? What is going on between you and this person? What is going on between you and this person? What is going on? Two of Swords. Okay, yeah, we fi we figured that. Five of Cups. The Six of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. Under the deck is Eight of Cups. Okay, see, I feel like this situation... And again, if it's not your story, don't force it to fit. I feel like this is a story about somebody who has been friends or has known this person a very long time. You may have dated in the past or it just never really kind of got off the ground between the two of you. And for both of you, you've always kind of had these thoughts or feelings about what could have been should you have been able to freely explore this connection if one of you had made a move. You know, it's that constant wonder of, you know, did I miss the opportunity of a lifetime to be with this person? You never stop thinking about each other. Again, this friendship is leading to more vulnerability you can be open with this person you can be honest with this person because this person doesn't regardless of whatever's going on like if they're married they may not physically obviously be able to just you know wash their hands of that and it's it's not as easy as snapping your fingers and being done with it um but this person doesn't want to hurt you this person does really care about you and they feel disappointed too this person thinks if i could just go back in time how different life would be what if we had gotten our chance what if we had gotten our start for some of you, this feels like you may not have ever been in like an official relationship or maybe you were a long time ago um, and you both always had these like harbored feelings for each other, but maybe you were always with other people or the timing never lined up or whatever. Um, like you both wanted to work on it. You feel like there was this missed opportunity here, like walking away from each other and going in different directions. You always thought of each other. 
Okay. So, what is this person's thoughts about you? What does this person think about Gemini, please? What does this person think about Gemini? What are this person's thoughts about you? The Chariot, Cancer, Energy. King of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ten of Cups. Wow, look at all this water. We also have the Ace of Wands under the deck. So this person, obviously very attracted to you. There is a lot of physical chemistry here. You know, they're, they're very interested. But it's more than just the physical with this person. There's a lot of emotions here. This person's thoughts are very positive. There is a lot of deep feelings here. This person kind of thinks of you as like family. Or someone that maybe they have spent a lot of time with, that they've grown to really love and get to know on a personal level. Even if some of you have, have not seen this person in a while, you've kind of been apart. They had this fire for you. You know, there's that queen. You might have strong fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, kind of coming through as the queen of wands. You know, someone very beautiful and exciting and passionate and alluring, male or female. We don't read genders here. We, we all have masculine and feminine energies. Um... But this person, I mean, there's, like, you feel like home to them. They love being around. They think about, like, seeing you, catching up with you, spending time with you, being around family and friends together, traveling to you. Some of you could be at a distance from this person. Um, this person feels very protective of you. And even those of you who have, like, maybe you've gone off to be in other relationships, do other things, they've always kind of, like, watched out for you even if it's like from a distance you know like this person's always like thought of you and cared for you and like wanted what was best for you even if there was like a tinge of jealousy there even um this person maybe this person this person loves you they always have um what are their feelings for you let's find out more about what they feel about you and your situation here what do they feel about you what does this person feel about Gemini? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Lovers, that's Gemini. Page of Pentacles. The Sun, Leo Energy. This person, there's, you, you make them happy. Like when the two of you are together, it's like they kind of forget or everything else kind of fades away. And it's like they don't, whatever kind of drama or chaos or conflict or disappointments are kind of going on around them, you're very grounding for them. You know, you kind of center them, kind of pull them back to earth. You kind of help them deal with their emotions, calm, center themselves. But not only that, you know, you make them really happy. You make them feel really optimistic and playful and hopeful. You know, I read something or heard something a while back, and I can't remember which, but or where I heard it. But uh, basically, it was talking about if you ask someone why they love you or what they love about you, you know, yes, of course, it's good to have like certain key things, like oh, I love that they're successful or they're ambitious or that they they're really family oriented, you know, or, they, or I love their eyes or I love those things are nice to hear too. But you know, what's really more important to hear is like how you make that person feel. You know, you're not just a checklist on a piece of paper. It's the feeling they get when they're with you. And that's kind of the thing here. It's like, yes, this person might see you as someone who's, you know, very beautiful, you know, really fun, you know, really grounded, successful or goal oriented. But it's more than that. It's the feeling that this person gets with you because the sun is the happiest card in the deck. You know, it shows bright positivity, you know, sunshine, right? Um, this person feels... Like there's this calming, nurturing energy about you. But they're kind of conflicted about their feelings. Because like I said, for some of them, it is possible that they may already be in a higher level of commitment or they may already be involved. I kind of get like for some of you, you for for some of you, you might have known this person a very long time and you were always in different relationships. Like it just never synced at the right time. You know, it's like you're always just missing each other. There, I don't know if anybody here is like a Friends fan, but they're showing me Ross and Rachel. If if you remember, I don't know how you know. I'm trying to remember all the, but it's like every time you know she fell in love with him, he was dating someone again, and they were kind of. I mean, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen the show, but you know what I'm saying. Like, um, and every time he realized that he still had feelings for her, she was already with someone. It was like this. They were always just passing each other, you know, just trying to get back together to make it work. 
Um, that's kind of the, the feeling that I get. With the lovers, you know, it does talk about these spiritual connections. It talks about soulmates. It also talks about choices. For some of you, it could be that maybe you have children or they have children. And that's a big uh, part of the situation here. And that obviously does complicate things further. What do you need to know about your... Okay, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I also had some cards that wanted to pop out, wanted to stop themselves. And for me, that usually indicates that... There's things that you want to say, but feel that you cannot, or they may not be fully can say. Yeah. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more mentally attractive. Now, it could be that they have kept themselves in a situation that no longer serves them, where they're not really happy or appreciated. Um, and that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. This person is already involved with someone. However, they're saying you can be completely open and vulnerable with this person. This person does have the same feelings that you have. They might be just waiting to hear what you're going to say. You know, if you feel the same way, if your feelings have changed or, you know, if you want the same things. This, you've been trying to think about what to do here because this person has never left your mind. They're saying if you want to pursue this or explore this, you might have to be the one that initiates it or at least gives them some, this person some type of clue uh, or hint about how you feel. And I'm not saying to play games with this person or that you even have to do that. But what I am saying is, unfortunately, I, I'll be honest, I don't see this person coming out and saying, listen, I'm in love with you and I always have been. I feel like they want to express how they feel, but they want to know how you feel first because one or both of you has a lot to lose here. So you may have to kind of figure out how you want to present this to this person. And again, I always recommend you guys get personal readings. If not with me, with someone that you trust who will tell you the truth. As I'm filming this, it is um, April 19th. And I have a 20% off um, sale going on right now until the end of this month of 2023. Um, and then I'll be actually going on vacation at the beginning of May. So I definitely highly encourage you guys to get your orders in if you are planning to book with me at some point. Um, but that's what I have for you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generous and donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.